at inaasahan Sa aking tungkulin Huwag akong magkulang Upang sa mabuhay O sa mamatay Mabigyan kita ng karangalan Pinaka na nais ko at inaasahan Sa aking tungkulin, huwag akong magkulang Upang sa mabuhay o sa mamatay Mabigyan kita ng karangalan Ikaw, Jesus, ang aking buhay Ikaw, Jesus, ang aking tagapagligtas Ikaw, Jesus, ang hari ng mga Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Isa pong pinagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. Welcome po sa ating live worship and mentoring ngayong hapong ito. Tayo pinalulugod sa ating Panginoon sa pagkat tayo pinigyan ng isang napakaaliwalas na panahon. Hallelujah. Kung saan tayo po ay nagsasama-sama po para sa isang oras ng pagsamba sa ating Diyos na buhay. Lahat po ng ating mga kapatid dyan sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao ay ating pong binabati maging ang lahat ng nasa iba yung dagat. Kasama rin po nating binabati at sa oras na ito ay bahagi po natin itong live streaming po natin. Alam ko po ng Diyos ay merong inihanda para sa ating lahat. At lahat ng may inaasahan ay makasusumpong ng biyaya ng ating Panginoon. Just keep on believing and connecting. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Ang Diyos ay mabuti. At hindi siya titigil sa paggawa ng mabuti. Sapagkat yon ang kanyang puso. Ang abutin tayo. Ang tayo po'y makaranas ng kanyang buhay. Higit sa lahat ng kanyang presensya. Kaya sa oras na ito, kung matagal ng panahon, na hindi mo nararanasan ng Panginoon, ngayong oras na ito, ipaparanas ng Diyos ang Kanyang presensya sa buhay mo. At kung meron tayong mga dalangin na hindi po natin natatanggap, hindi po nasasagot, akala natin wala na, tandaan po natin, God is a God of timing. And when you believe, There's nothing impossible. God can work miracle in your life, in your ministry, in your family. I want you to get ready to receive because in just a moment of time, the power of God shall manifest to each one of us. Can we just rise up? Lahat po ng nandyan, lahat po ng konektado, In this altar of worship, can you just rise up on your feet and begin to worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords? For He is God alone and His glory shall be revealed to us. Yes, like Moses, we pray to God, Lord, show me your glory. Kung yan ang puso mo, ipapakita ng Diyos ang kanyang kalawalatian sa iyo. Can we just come In a heart of worship, in a heart of prayer, let's welcome the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. As we pray today, as we invite the presence of the Lord, His presence shall come. His presence shall encapsulate us, shall invade your territory, shall invade your life, shall invade your family. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Let's come before His presence with thanksgiving. 
and hit this court with praise. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you glory, oh Jesus. We welcome you in this place. We welcome you in our hearts. We welcome you in this online gathering. Lord, inhabit the praises of your people as we draw nigh unto you. Draw nigh unto us. Holy Spirit, Lord, touch your people, Lord, as we come into your presence. That's Lord, and release your power. Heal the sick. Restore everyone that has broken hearted right now in the name of Jesus. And those who are hungry and thirsty for the Spirit of God upon their lives. Lord, today, you will just cause an overflow. Yes, overflow in, on the inside of us. Out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yes, rivers of the mighty flow of the river of God inside our hearts. Right now, in this very moment, Hallelujah. in this very place, the glory of God will be revealed. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We honor you. Come on, people of God, just keep on worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. God is a God of visitation. He will visit you today. He will visit our life. He will visit our ministry. He will visit our family. God is going to stretch for His hands. Aabutin ka niya ngayong oras na ito. Hihipuin ka niya ngayong oras na ito. Come on! Just reach out and believe. Yes. God is a God of miracle. God is a God of signs and wonders. He is our God. Himself forever. Thank you, Lord. Eko tolo mo sender e mehay. Salamat po panginoon. We give you the highest praise in the mighty name of Jesus. mga magulat mga kapatid. Ihanda po natin ang ating mga sarili. Because in just a moment, the Spirit of God is going to hit you. The Spirit of God is going to touch you right now. Let's welcome the man of God to lead us at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Rudy Ratilia. To Him be glory. To Him be glory. Everybody worship him, say to him be glory to him be glory to him be glory. We welcome you, sweet precious Holy Spirit. As we glorify the Lord, the Lord our God, our Savior, our Master Jesus, to Him be glory. To Him be the glory and the honor and praises belongs to Him alone. Hallelujah to your name. Amen, amen, 
much the glory and the honor. Oh Lord, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Forever. And through him are all things. For of him and through him and to him are all things. <coughs> For of him and through him and For of him and through him <coughs> To him be the glory To him be glory To him be glory Come on, people God, lift up the name of Jesus. He deserves all the glory and the praises, Jesus. To Him be glory. To Him be glory. To Him. Thanksgiving and adoration to Him be glory forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. To Him be glory. To Him be glory. God, shout it loud. your name, O Lord, in our midst. Rise up, O Lord, 
in the wings of our worship. We worship you, Lord. Oh, Lord, our God. How can I say thanks? For all the things you've done for me Things so undeserved Yet you gave to prove your love for me The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude and all that I am or ever hope to be I owe it all to thee How can I say thanks for the things you've done for me, yes, Lord? Things so undeserved, yet you came to prove your love for me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude and all that I am or ever hope to be I owe it all to thee Leave your hands and worship and everybody worship and say God be the glory to God be the glory be the glory for the things he has Just let me live my life Let it be pleasing, Lord, to Thee And if I gain any praise Let it go to Calvary
just let me live my life Let it be pleasing, Lord, to Thee And if I gain any praise Let it go to Calvary Ihanda mo kami, Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, 
We worship you, Lord, our God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, my God. When I'm in awesome wonder, consider all the works thy hands hath made. When I see the stars, I hear the roaring thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Lord my God when I in no some wonder thank you Lord consider all the works thy hand had made When I see the stars, I hear the roaring thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sing my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art! How great Thou art! When Christ shall come, each shout of acclamation to take me home. What joy shall heal our hearts? And I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim, My God, how great thou art.
you, Lord. How great thou art. Then sings my soul. Yes, oh Lord, thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my soul.
Lord, pour out your spirit and take over Holy Spirit today. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, glorious. Salamat, Lord. Create in us a temple. We are called as living stones where you're enthroned. Thank you so much. We give you glory and praises. As you rose from death and power, so rise within our worship come rise upon our praise and let the hands that so you raised called us in your by your grace oh the glory we give you honor and praises today and forevermore blessed be forever you deserve the glory forever you deserve the honor thank you Lord we bless your name Amen reverence so arise from your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory As your breath <coughs> John chapter 12 verse 1 Six days before the Passover Jesus arrived at Bethany Where Lazarus lived Whom Jesus had raised from the dead Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served where Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint, a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured out it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the, of the perfume. But, on, what, but one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, the disciples who would soon betray him said, The perfume was worth a year's wages. It should have been sold and the money given to the poor. Verse 6. Not that he cared for the poor. He was a thief and since he was in charge of the disciples' money, he often stole some for himself. Makikita natin ang layunin ng Panginoon. Why did God, why did Jesus allow to receive the pure nard of ointment, which is a perfume, one of the most expensive perfume during his time? <clears throat> Ito po ay upang maipaunawa sa lahat <clears throat> na kahit gaano ka-expensive ang ilaalay mo sa paanan ni Lord, it's always worth it. Worth it. Wala nang higit pa sa buhay natin na higit sa anumang mga material na bagay at mga elemento. Layunin ng Panginoon ay paunawa sa atin ng ating mga sakripisyo, ng ating mga seed, ng ating mga ginagawa para kay Lord at sa Kanyang karangalan, sa Kanyang pangalan, ay hindi mawawala ng kabuluhan. Lahat ng dumarating at ginagawa natin ayon sa layunin ng Diyos, lahat ng ito ay mayroong reward. 
God will give us a reward. And the first and the foremost of all things in this world, Jesus is our greatest reward. Naalala niyo ang buhay ni Martha at ni Mary. <clears throat> Martha invited Jesus. When she invited Jesus, he became busy. And he was she was distracted by all many things. He, she was upset by many things. God did not Jesus did not rebuke her works for him. In fact, hindi naman talaga ni rebuke ni Lord ang paglilingkod ni Martha. Ang ginrebuke lang ni Lord kay Martha ay masyadong overcare sa work. Walang problema kay Lord kung ikaw ay magtrabaho para sa kanya at gawin ang lahat ng dapat nating gawin bilang isang normal na tao. Ang ayaw lang ni Lord, ma-overcare tayo sa mga ginagawa natin sa ministry. Ma-overcare tayo sa mga bagay na in so, so-called ministry. And we don't have time like Mary at the feet of Jesus. Reclining at the feet of Jesus. Listening to every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Mary, Jesus commended to Mary. Hindi na alisin sa kanya ang ginawa niya ito. My fellow servant of God, ang ministry ang pumapatay ng anointing. If you don't know how to carry the ministry. Ministry always brings burden, burned out, overcare. Hindi hinahangad ng Panginoon na pagbawalan tayo sa pagkilos at paggawa. Kaya lang, sinasabihan tayo ni Lord, Why are you so many, uh, why are you so upset in many things? Mary has chosen the best to listen to His Word. Spending time with God is not actually our ministry. It's the fruit of love. This is not our ministry. This is the fruit of love. Once you love God, you will obey God. Once you love God, you will listen to God. Ministry, lahat ng nangyayari sa ministry, when we became overburdened, over care, this ministry will become karibal ng Panginoon sa layunin niya sa buhay mo. And that's why marami nag-backslide, maraming lumamig, marami ang trabaho masipag sa church, mga leaders ng church, but a couple of years, they burned out. They never enjoy serving the Lord. Mga kapatid kay Kristo, alam natin na ang Panginoon na hindi nagbibigay ng mapasaning din nating kaya. Ayaw niyang mangyari sa buhay natin. I have seen so many pastors all over the Philippines for 18 years now. They are overworked in the ministry. And they don't have time spending time with Jesus. The master whom they serve, so-called whom they serve, simple lang ang gusto ng Lord. Mahalin mo siya. At sa pagmamahal mo, sundin mo ang pinagagawa niya sa iyo. Do not look for extra care ministry. Yung hindi pinagagawa sa iyo kung pakailaman. Yung hindi dapat sa iyo nilagay, huwag mong pag-isipang kunin dahil hindi yan sa iyo. Kahit matapos mo yan, wala kang glory galing kay Lord. Wala kang commendation. That's why there are ministers like Martha. They are overwork, overcare sa ministry. And they always complain, Lord, kailan darating ang blessing? Kailan darating, Lord, ang mga biyaya, mga pagpapala? Kasi, Lord, kung marami, magagawa namin ang lahat ng dapat namin gawin sa ministry. Lahat ministry, lahat ministry. Kung nasaan ang puso mo, 
nandun ang kayamanan mo. Ang kayamanan natin ay hindi ang ministry. Ang kayamanan natin is Jesus. Si Jesus ang nagbigay sa atin upang magkaroon tayo ng pribilihyong maglingkod sa Kanya na tinatawag nating ministry. And that ministry become karibal ng Panginoon. And many servants, their altars of worship was broken down. <clears throat> Marami bumagsak na ang mga altar, mga worship leaders, <clears throat> mga leaders, mga cell group leaders, mga leaders sa church. Even in the fivefold ministry, we are not exempted. We are all subject sa pagkapagod at pagkapagal. That's why every time that Jesus, after His ministry, umaki sa sa bundok just to spend time with Jesus, with the Lord. He spent time with God. Humuhugot siya ng lakas. Hindi siya humuhugot ng lakas sa mga plano para sa ministry. Humuhugot siya ng lakas sa Panginoon, sa Diyos Ama, during that time. And when he came down from the mountain after his prayer, he possesses, he contains every power that the ministers needed. Kaya nagugulat ang maraming tao noong panahon ng ating Panginoon because ang pahinga niya ay ang prosensya ni Lord. Sabi ni Lord kay Moses, don't be overcare, Moses. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. As long as you are in the presence of God, as long as you are always overcare with God, not in the ministry, you will enjoy the ministry. Kahit kayo mga kabataan, mga lingkod ng Diyos, mga leaders, na ginagamit ng Lord by mga ministry sa church, Once you become overcare for your ministry, for your assignment, you will become overburdened. Mapapagod ka, magbabakout ka, magbabakslide ka. Dahil marami dyan, kapag marami nang ginagawa sa ministry, nagkahanap na na magpupuri at babati sa kanya, sa kanyang ginagawa. At yun ang ayaw ni Lord. Sabi ni, Lord, sabi ni, ni Martha, Don't you care, Lord? Di mo ba alam, Lord? Wala ka pong malasakit sa akin? And you will blame God one day because you are overcare sa ministry. Kahit sa mga trabaho, do not be a workaholic. You must have time with your spouse. You must have time with your family. You must have time with your loved ones. Hindi lang lahat trabaho. At galawin kay Lord, especially kay Lord. Kaya nga may time eh. May quiet time. May time na kung saan nakikipag-usap ka kay Lord. Whatever disturbances are, it doesn't matter. Because we know spending time with God is the most secure time of all times. Down at your feet, O Lord, is the most high place. In your presence, Lord, I seek Your face, I see your face. For thou at your feet, my Lord, is the most high place. In your presence, my Jesus, I see your face. I see. I live to worship you. And Moses received the instruction from the Lord. 
My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Kahit anong pagod ni Moses, by the time 80 years old na si Moses, his body become weakening and weakening. But alam natin that spending time with God even for the days and for the nights ay hindi mahaba kay Moses. When we talk to God, hindi po tayo naiinip sa oras. Hindi po tayo naiinip sa paglilingkod. Hindi po tayo nagsasawa. Why there are so many workers in the church burned out? Nagsawa sila, nagpakslide. Kinukuha nila ang katuwaan at kasiyahang hatid ng Espiritu. Pinapalitan nila ng makalamang Espiritu. Napuro karangalang panlupa. Mga pansamantalang karangalan. Mga kapatid kay Kristo, alam nating si Lord ang contentment and satisfaction of our hearts as we serve Him. Not the ministry. Huwag niyo po akong ma-misinterpret. I am not misrepresenting the truth of God. God wants you to serve Him through the ministry. But do not be over care to your ministry. Wala ka ng time kay Lord. Spend time. The safest place in this world is the presence of God at the feet of Jesus. And when you are surrounded by the enemies in the presence of God, you are safe and sound. Tayong mga pastor, madalas tayo nalabas ang labas ang lahat ng mga minsahe galing sa Diyos. Pero tayo na nga kailangan ng minsahe galing sa Lord. Through our fellow servants as well. Handa tayong tumanggap ng aral mula sa Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng mga kapwa lingkod natin. And we must humble ourselves. Martha, reflect His work, your work, because she worked so much. Overcare sa work. Mary, overcare for the love to Jesus. Hindi pinagbawal ni Lord ang ministry ni Martha. But He give a commendation to Mary. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom shall I trust. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Pagod ka sa ministry, go back to your first love. Go back. Go back. Balik ka sa unang pag-ibig mo. Hindi ang mga ministry ito. Hindi ang mga kaabalahan sa ministry. Yes, we become excellent, excel in every ministry. But you and me must spend time more than we spend in our ministry. We must spend time with Jesus. For Thou, at Your feet, O Lord, is the most high place. In Your presence, O Lord, I seek Your face. I seek Your face. There is no instruction from the Lord. Hindi binabawal ng Panginoon na tayo po'y gumawa sa ministry. But the problem is, 
when you do the ministry not the ministry that God has ordained for you it will become a burden that's why sabi naman oh God maraming na burn out maraming umaatras sa ministry why? Ang sabi ng Panginoon, Lo, I will be with you always until the end of the days. Sasamahan kita hanggang sa huling panahon ng iyong paglilingkod. Why is this there is burnout in the ministry? Not because the presence of God is not with you. But the problem is the thing that we are doing is not the right thing that God has ordained for you. Kaya mga bagay lamang nasasamahan ng Diyos ay ang mga bagay na inordain ng Panginoon sa iyo. Marami tayong ministeryo na dinaluhan, ministry na ginagampanan. Ngunit kapatid, ang totoong nagpapatuloy, ang totoong lalong lumalakas at tumitibay ay ang ministeryong ipinagkatiwala sa iyo ng Panginoon. Yes. You just need to focus on that. At hindi kailanman mawawalan ka ng lakas. Hindi ka kailanman mababurn out. Because the presence of God will always be with you. Amen. Nung si Moses umakyat ng mundok ng Sinai. He stayed there for 30, 40 days and 40 nights. And he was never exhausted. Why? Because the presence of God sustained him. Kapag tama ang ginagawa mo, the presence of God will always sustain your ministry. Amen. At hindi ka kailanman mapapagod sapagkat kasama mo ang Panginoon at ang Kanyang sinasabi, I will never leave you nor forsake you. You see, during the day, Jesus Christ was preaching the gospel all throughout the day. Buong araw, kinagalugan niya ang mga siyudad, ang mga nayon, ang bawat lugar kung saan dapat niyang puntahan upang ipangaral ang salita ng Diyos. Ngunit, yes. hindi siya nawawala ng lakas sapagkat pagdating sa gabi, He will always stay all night in the presence of God and pray to the Father, drawing the strength from God. Ibang klase pag si Lord ang kasama mo. Ibang klase ka pag si Lord. Yes. Ang pinaglilingkuran mo. You will always find rest. You will always find strength before the Lord. Hallelujah. Magpapatuloy kang ganap sapagkat ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos, ang presensya ng Diyos, ang lakas ng Panginoon ay kasama mo saan ka man pumaroon. Yes. It's time to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Not all ministries belongs to you. Only those that are ordained by God are the ministries that will always be sustained. The ministries that God will bless. At sigurado po ako na kapag ginagawa po natin ang ministeryong ito, hindi ka mababaon sa kalungkutan hindi ka mababaon maging sa utang pagpapalain ka 
ng ating Panginoon. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. He said, Lo, I will be with you until the end of the age. What a promise of God. Sinabi ni David, Though I walk to the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. You see, when you are out of the will of God, you will pray like David prayed. Sabi niya, Lord, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Ang mga bagay na hindi pinagagawa sa ng Panginoon ay mga bagay na siyang huhugutan ka ng lakas upang hindi ka makapagpatuloy patuloy sa pinagagawa ng Panginoon sa iyo. So why bother about doing the ministries that God has not ordained for you? Like Mary's. Hindi naman pinagagawa sa kanya ng yes. Panginoon na siya ay maghanda na mga pagkain o ano mga bagay para sa ating Panginoon. Kaya siya naliligaling na sa he was overworked, overcared. Kasi ang mga bagay na ginagawa niya ay hindi naman na pinagagawa ng Panginoon. Kasi ang dami nagre-reklamo. Why is it that in the body of Christ ay napakaraming nagre-reklamo? Bakit nagre-reklamo? Sapagkat kapag ikaw ay nahirapan sa mga bagay na hindi naman dapat ginagawa mo, mag-uumpisa ka na magreklamo. At sasabihin mo, Panginoon, talagang tinawag mo nga ba ako? Walang duda sa pagtawag sa iyo sa Panginoon. Ang problema, marami kang ginagawa na hindi pinagagawa ng Panginoon. Kaya tayo napapagod, napaburn out tayo sa ministry yes! at nararamdaman natin na hindi tayo sinasamaan ng ating Panginoon. Wala! Ang tubig ng buhay na dumadaloy ay kinakapos sa atin. Kung totoo na ang Diyos ang siyang tumawag sa atin, katulad ng iyong pangako, that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yes! Ang ibig sabihin niyan, kahit saan ka magpunta, kapag tinawag ka ng Diyos, may dala-dala ka yes! ng tubig ng buhay. Out of your belly shall flow rivers that rivers, rivers is alive and there will be no lacking. Lahat ng bagay isusustain the Lord. Lahat ng bagay ibibigay ng Panginoon. You know, in these last days, there are so many voices. But you need to hear the only sweet voice the voice of the Holy Spirit. When you do that, magiging malusog ang iyong relasyon sa Panginoon. Magiging malusog ang ministry mo. Sasamahan ka ng Panginoon all throughout your ministry days. Matatapos mo ang pinagagawa ng Diyos. Amen. Hindi ka lang mag-uumpisa. Tatapusin mo ang pinagagawa ng Panginoon. Sabihin mo sa sarili mo, tatapusin ko ang pinagagawa ng Diyos. Tatapusin ko ang pinagagawa ng Diyos. Pinagagawa ng Diyos. At kapag ikaw ay tuloy-tuloy na ginagawa ang pinagagawa ng Panginoon, then you will become a testimony. You will become a legacy to the next generation that this is Truly, a man of God na mas magandang gayahin at sundan. It's time to leave a legacy that will bring glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, we have a lot of things to do. God has ordained things. And these things that God has ordained ay kailangan po ng maraming mga gagawa ng Diyos na konektado sa Kanya that has connected all throughout His ministry life and never cut off nagpapatuloy siyang tumanggap ng tubig ng buhay mula sa ating Panginoon yes. at kailanman ang Kanyang ginagawa ay hindi magiging kalugihan 
ang kanyang ginagawa ay hindi magiging kaabalahan. Ang kanyang ginagawa will give glory to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Kaya po mga magulang, mga kapatid, mga kamanggagawa, just keep on connecting. Although, sometimes very tiring for ministry, but you know what? When it is done according to the perfect will of God, the Spirit of the Lord shall come upon you at lahat ng pagod mo mawawala. Lahat ng burden mo mawawala. Why? Because you are doing the perfect will of God over your life. Thank you, Jesus. Let's continue to come together in worship and adoration before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Man of God, let's us worship once again, giving glory to the King of Kings Show and the Lord of Lords. Your glory. Make me know your way. Let your very presence shine through all my days. Once again, show me now your glory, my Lord. Make me know your Let your very presence shine through all my days. Listen to my heart cry. Listen to my prayer. Hallelujah. Show me now your glory. Oh God of my praise. Listen to my heart. Cry. Listen to my praise.
my glory Glory to the King Glory to the Lamb of God Glory to the Lamb of God Salamat po sa inyo pong pagsama, joining us for one and a half hours almost. As we worship God, this live worship and mentoring ay lagi pong naganap every Friday at, at 5 p.m. Salamat po sa ating Panginoon. Abangan po natin ang gagawin ng Lord dyan po sa Lipa City. This coming July 13 and 14. 15 days na lang po. Halos 2 weeks na lang po. We will be there face to face po, live dyan po sa Lipa City, sa Cultural Center of Lipa, second floor. Ang start po ay 8 o'clock hanggang 4. Nagbago po ang oras, ang nag-adjust po tayo, kaya dating dating 9, ginawa po nating 8 o'clock, 8 to 4. We must come there early and register our names. Sama-sama po tayong haharap sa Panginoon. Everybody is thirsty and hungry for God's presence. Napaganda po ng mensahe ni Lord, go back to your first love. Man of God, yung gawain po natin ay libre. Kaya Amen. po, samantalahin po natin ang pagkakataon na makasama po dito sa face-to-face -face live worship. Revival of worship. Iba ho kapag face-to-face ka -face ang gathering. Iba ho kapag tayo po ay kasama mismo doon sa event na yon. Because that's the time you can feel the tangible presence of God. And you yourself will testify, iba. Iba itong face-to-face -face na ito. Kaya po, hinihimog po natin lahat ng mga kapatid po natin na samahan po tayo. Mag-prepare po kayo. Yung mga magagaling po ng... Um, outside Calabar Zone o di kaya outside po ng Batangas, you just coordinate with us. Kay Pastor Rudy, sa akin, sa Revival Worship GC, ipopost po natin dyan yung mga updates po natin. Sapagkat uh, nais po natin na mas marami po ang makadalo dun po asing face-to-face -face Revival of Worship Convention. Amen. Yes, we want to see you there and experience together the Amen. presence and the power of God. Mga Amen. kapatid, you will never regret to join this event. You will never regret. Iba po ang gagawin ng Panginoon. God is good. And He will always show Himself as a good God and never stop doing good sa buhay po natin. At yan po ay libre. Because mm -hmm. the glory and the anointing, the presence of God, even the restoration of the Holy Spirit is free. Kailangan po natin be there and we must gather 
Spend time with God. Two days po yan. Napakaganda po. Two days we will be incubated in the presence of God. We will be encapsulated by God's glory and by His anointing. Pagkatapos po niyan, you are ready again to turn your province upside down for Christ. Revival, the bottom line of revival is saving the lost. Amen. Empowerment of those churches and people of God to be Amen. ready for the soon coming return of our King. Man of God? Yes. And of course, <clears throat> Uh, bagamat ito po ay libre, no? This is for free. But if you just like to be a blessing Amen. and uh, be used by God to be a blessing to revival of worship, ay bukas po ang kamay po namin na abutin ang anumang tulong na magagaling po sa inyo because we believe on the power of the seed. Amen. Kaya po, uh, you just connected with us. Amen. Kung ano po yung pwede pong Pwede nating uh, padalhan, no? Nang pwede po nating itulong, maging bahagi po ng programang ito ng Banal na Espiritu upang mas marami po ang mapagpala. Ma-bless po kasi we just wanted to bless the people that only on their spiritual needs but also on their physical needs. Alam ko na kasabay po ang biyayang yan ay binibigay sa atin ng Panginoon na hindi lamang po spiritual ang binibigay ng Diyos sa atin. Pati physical and material ipoprovide ng Panginoon. That's why He said, I will provide all your need according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. But for Amen. those who are willing and open their hands no, to bless, <clears throat> yun po yung pangako ng Panginoon that the God whom we serve is able to supply all our needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Anong God? Pagpalain po tayong lahat ng ating Panginoon at patuloy po tayong sumubaybay sa ating pong morning coffee break every Tuesday. At uh, ulitin ko po namin, dalawang linggo na lamang po at makikita-kita po tayo sa Lipa City live, face-to-face -face, sa ating pong Revival of Worship Convention. At uh, samahan po ninyo kami, sama-sama po tayo na humigop, humugot at magpapuno ng pag-uumapaw ng biyaya at presensya ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Remember, in just one touch of the Holy Spirit, you and my life would never be the same again. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Tangi kong hinahangad Ang presensya mo Ang lagi kinauawan Pagmamahal mo Ang laging naranasan Minuong ikaw Ang lagi kong Inasam Sinasamba kita Tanging ikaw lamang Ang Panginoong karapat dapat sambahin Sus pangalan mo ang laging sasambitin, purihin ka, Jesus. Ikaw ay
Ang laging sasambiti